welcome back guys we are on the case 4 and this probably should be very very close to um, large number of you and this is very very simple as well right and most of us we would have done it uh, if you have been working for some period of time and if you had some need for it right and this is let's say you have taken a loan right uh, doesn't matter whether it's a car loan or home loan or personal loan or any other sort of loan right so let's say you've borrowed a loan of two hundred thousand dollars the interest that you have to pay for this loan is 15 percent annual interest and the duration of this loan is 12 months right what will be the equal amount that you need to pay to the lender that is the case Again, loan amount is $200,000, 15% annual interest rate for 12 months. How much do you need to pay on a monthly basis to the lender, right? So does it ring a bell in terms of, you know, what is the concept? Yeah, this is nothing but what we call as EMI, equal monthly installments and there are two components to the emi as you would have rightly figured out obviously the principal that you have taken this is going to be broken up throughout the time period and then the interest that you have to pay on this amount so basically the emi is a combination of principal and interest and net net the principal and interest combined turn out to be the equal amount that you have to pay right and i if you click on this link that i have shared with you this is uh, the article that i have written on the emi npv and other miscellaneous metrics you will find that as the loan matures you will pay more in the interest towards the end and you will pay more in the principal at the beginning right and there's a math behind that that you can actually take a look at there um, so that's what it is right and let's figure out how do we do that in r the formula is very very simple and we will do this exercise there as well uh, you have to apply pmt method and the first parameter that you pass on over here is the rate per period right and remember we said 15 percent annual so the monthly turns out to be 15 percent divided by 12 which is the rate that we have specified then the second term over here is how many periods we are looking at which is 12 how much is the amount that you have borrowed which is two hundred thousand dollars and then is there going to be any future value of the amount obviously not because we will get the entire amount back um, during the 12 months of EMI so there's no future value and that's what the formula is and if you hit enter after you type this formula it turns out to be about 18,051 in financial world we will round it off so the EMI that the customer has to pay or if you have taken this loan personally the EMI that you have to pay is gonna be monthly 18,052 dollars for this amount that you have taken right it's a very very simple math now let me ask you a quiz and this is for you to tell me the correct answer on this is a very very realistic situation that we work very regularly in the fintech industry or any industry lending industry for that matter and the problem is basically the affordability right affordability if i can spell it correctly there you go right so something of that nature right affordability and what it means is can this person really afford a loan of this size right so let's say john has applied for a loan and based on his banking records and his salary and stuff like that i have figured out that he really cannot afford anything more than sixteen thousand five hundred dollars in the emi right because of the constraints that i've highlighted now he comes and applies for a loan of hundred thousand dollars for six months within the six months he has to pay it back and 10 percent interest rate 
Now, the question that we have to answer as a lender is, can I really give him this amount of loan? Can he really afford this loan? Right. So you have to do the math and come back and tell me whether it is possible, why or why not. Right. And uh, it's going to be very simple. Just the EMI formula that we have talked about. Do the math, figure out how much it's going to be and whether this person can really afford it or not. Right. So that's the end of the case lit four. I will see you again in case lit five. Thank you.